This is so nice because every single adjustment has its own knob and there's a digital readout for every parameter. So you don't have to go hunting and fishing through any screens on all these these uh, higher end expensive welders where you're, you know, you end up having to hunt and push push on the computer screen to get to what you want. It's all just right here. And then if you're welding something, like say you got a project where it's eighth inch thick sheet and you're doing something specific and it's gonna be the same every time, just look at this and take a quick picture on your phone. You know, the, the, the miller that I have, this Dynasty, it's cool because it has memories. You can save, you can save parameters in there and there's like 10 memory banks, but you don't really need it. Just, you know, take, snap a quick picture and see where everything's at or write it down. And then miller, this is probably my second favorite. This is a, a 325, or sorry, a 350 Dynasty from like 2008 before they put a digital like LCD screen on it and screwed it all up and overcomplicated it. I think somebody at their job had to justify their existence and, you know, change change it or update it and make it worse. But yeah, so this is probably my number two favorite. And then just this, every single knob right there ready for you to grab. And if you're in the market for a welder, I highly recommend this one, especially for if you're starting up an aluminum fabrication business where you need a lot of amperage. And then definitely get a water the, their water cooler for it at Prime Weld. And if you're interested in this machine, I suggest you order directly from Prime Weld at primeweld.com or my website. If you order through them, use the code 6061 and you'll save 5%. And then email me and I'll, I can give you a discount on a website subscription or maybe a little bit off of a TIG button if you're interested too, because it's compatible with this machine. And then since this part's already hot, you're going to need less amperage to weld this joint. If you use the same amperage, you overheat it. So that's why I like using the variable amperage stick button that I sell on the website. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think looks better. This tighter spacing up here or wider heat spacing. See how both of these welds go all the way up to the top edge? So I'm gonna give it less pressure, so that's gonna be less heat. I'm try to keep it down off that top edge. promise you won't be able to do all that with the same amperage settings. It's a 250 amps, this is quarter inch material, with anything other than the TIG button for a hand amperage controller. You can do it with the foot pedal too, foot pedal's not great. Any other hand amperage controller, they're either like some weird slide or a knob dial. With this, the great thing about it is there's no moving parts, so you're not moving your index finger around, which makes your, your accuracy go all to hell. Just really intuitive, I love it. Let me know what you guys like. If you like those upper tight beads or those big fat ones, that middle one's by far my favorite. But if you had a part where you didn't want to be burning into the top edge, you know, it's best to keep it down off like that so you don't have to refinish it or whatever. But 
And then on my website, I go over how I set up my welders for all the settings I use, tungsten shaping, type, gas flow rates, everything. If you're interested in learning about more about aluminum fabrication, it's all on the website. And if you're a website subscriber and you have any questions, feel free to email me. Sometimes that makes good videos that I can put up on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I think I can do better than that. I haven't welded in a few weeks. I'm out of practice. Let's get the backside a shot. Now I'm going to go over in an upcoming video why I like this specific torch so much and why I use it all the time versus the other ones. Stay tuned for that. Check 